Hi, my name is Chris Gideon and I'm an architect at the Microsoft Corporation. In this module, we'll be discussing the changes and new features in Excel services for SharePoint 2013. Excel services is great for an end user or analyst that wants to share content with multiple people across an organization. It provides a simple method for taking authored content in Excel 2013 and making it available in a browser. Excel services can also be used to publish a generated model such as a mortgage calculator that will be widely used. In both cases, Excel services makes it easy for an author to publish targeted content without making the underlying intellectual property available to consumers. Excel services in SharePoint allows users to directly save their workbooks and publish their reports to a SharePoint site, which renders the workbook in the browser. This feature now supports a higher level of parity between the browser and the Excel client with features like FieldWell and Quick Explorer. It also utilizes the full features of SharePoint, such as collaborative editing. At a high level, Excel services consists of the core components shown in this illustration. The Excel calculation server, or the ECS, is the primary component. ECS is responsible for loading and calculating the spreadsheets, refreshing external data, executing server-based user definition functions, and maintaining session state. On the web front-end servers, the Excel Web Access web part, or the EWA, is the SharePoint web part responsible for creating the HTML renderings from the results returned by ECS. The Excel Web Access makes it possible to display the results in a browser and allows users to interact with them. In a customization scenario, SharePoint application developers can write custom code to interact with the ECS by using Excel Web Services APIs, REST APIs, and JavaScript object model. We'll discuss these APIs in further detail in the following slides. Also included on the web front end is an ECS proxy that handles communication between the tiers in a multi-server environment. The proxy manages load balancing in situations where you have two or more application servers running the ECS role. Finally, on the back end, Excel Services uses three types of SQL Server databases. The content databases store workbooks and content, the service application databases store information about the configuration of the service applications. And finally, the farm configuration database. As with the previous version, the SharePoint server provides the platform for hosting the ECS and storage as well as the security of the workbooks. Continuing with the new service application infrastructure, Excel Services is a service application, which means it can be scaled out independently to many individual application servers running the ECS service. There are several new features in Excel Services. People can more easily explore data and conduct analysis in Excel Services reports that use SQL Server Analysis Services data or Power Pivot data models. For example, Users can point to a value in a pivot chart or pivot table report and see suggested ways to view additional information. Users can also use commands such as drill down to to conduct analysis. Users can also apply the drill down command by using a single mouse click. Excel services enables people to easily view and change which items are displayed in rows, columns, values, and filters in pivot chart reports and pivot table reports that have been published to Excel Services. Excel Services supports calculated measures and calculated members that are created in Excel. Excel Services supports timeline controls that render and behave as they do in the Excel client. Administrators can specify SQL Server Analysis Services servers to support more advanced analytic capabilities in Excel Services. And the Business Intelligence Center site template has been streamlined. It not only has a new look, it's easier to use. In SharePoint 2013, we made a significant investment in mobile devices overall. This effort continues by delivering a touch-based data exploration and visualization experience through the browser on iOS, Android, and Microsoft-based mobile devices. The services available are Excel Services, Performance Point, and Reporting Services 2012. If we examine an Excel Services 2013 topology on-premise, we can, of course, use Excel files stored in the SharePoint farm. 
but we can also increase the functionality through the use of SQL Server Analysis Services. SQL Server Analysis Services is connected via OLEDB. This does not require any additional installation to access SQL Server Analysis Services from Excel Services. This scenario will be discussed in more detail later in the session. A significant change to consider is the use of Office Web Applications in another farm. These are connected via the WAPI protocol, which treats SharePoint as a host for Office Web Applications. It's important to call out the different choices this raises for administrators because different functionality is offered from each option, and we will review the differences shortly. Let's take a moment to point out the differences between the Excel Web Application and Excel Services. The Excel Web Application allows users with a browser to view, create, and edit Excel spreadsheets without requiring the underlying Excel desktop application to be installed on the computer they are using. The Excel Web Application also enables collaboration by supporting multiple users editing the spreadsheet at the same time. It is important to understand that the Excel Web Application is a standalone product that interoperates with multiple products through a new protocol, WAPI. The Excel Web Application provides the following, edit and browser functionality, grid interactivity, multi-user collaboration in browser editing sessions, while Excel Calculation Services supports Excel Web Access for dashboard web parts, grid interactivity, Excel Web Services for programmability, and data connectivity through multiple methods, such as Kerberos, Secure Store, Unattended Account, and Credentials on Connection Stream. To further illustrate the difference between Excel Services and the Excel Web Application, let's put them in context. Excel Services is really all about business intelligence. You get Excel Servers as part of the enterprise features. Excel Services lets you create dashboards with web parts in SharePoint, connect to external data systems like SQL Analysis Services, and it provides advanced BI functionality through PowerView integration. In contrast, the Excel Web Application is part of the Office Web Apps, and is intended to provide browser-based spreadsheet functionality for editing documents. The two together provide the best of delivering business intelligence and Excel capabilities. Now let's take a look at the use of SQL Server Analysis Services for more advanced analytics. To start with BI built from items stored with SharePoint, we could have all the activity in the same farm using the same SQL Server used by SharePoint. However, to get more out of the existing investments in BI and for greater scalability, we can also use dedicated environments. That of course can include analysis services where we could optionally host SQL Server. It's important to point out that by default, Power Pivot doesn't require any additional installation in the SharePoint farm. Simply pointing to the BI servers on the SharePoint side is enough. Other types of business intelligent capabilities may require separate add-ins to be installed on the SharePoint farm. The takeaway is that your host SQL Server analysis services for multiple SharePoint environments in its own environment or even use data from SQL Azure. Excel Interactive View is a brand new technology introduced in Excel Services 2013. Excel Interactive View uses HTML, JavaScript, and Excel services to generate Excel table and chart views on the fly in the browser from an HTML table hosted on a web page. Using Excel Interactive View, users can harness the analytical power of Excel for use on any HTML table on any web page in most browsers without having Microsoft Excel installed. In this module, we took a quick review of some of the changes to Excel services in SharePoint 2013.